basic editing in capture one that's our topic for today we'll look at how to manipulate this image right here in capture one before sending it to photoshop this is the same as raw processing in capture one so this image is right out of camera we've not applied any settings to it now if you look at this everything here is flat so we'll go ahead and then start working on it first of all i want to change the the curve over here it's on auto i prefer using portraits it's a matter of uh, reference so you would have to go through and then you know based on the camera you use you have to go through and choose whichever profile works best for you i have realized that portrait works well for me i use the Nikon or Nikon D750. So let's go back to this and the white balance, I set it in camera to somewhere 5300 and that's okay for me. So I'll leave it there and then come all the way down to the levels. I always start with auto to give me, you know, a playing ground. Now, this sometimes works. Sometimes you'll have to tweak it further. This is what works for me. Now we go to contrast. I usually start with plus 10. I love contrasty images. So already you see what's happening to the image. It might be too much, but by the time we are done working on this, we should get the desired result. Now over here, let's bring the highlight down. And as you can see, there was too much light on her outfit. So by reducing the highlights, we are able to bring back some details so let's put it on somewhere 60. the values don't really matter it's just about a slide a slide until it works for you so don't just memorize my values here and then put them in the values will change from image to image so it's better to know what each slider does then you apply it in your own way so as we move these sliders you realize that the the levels indicator here changes and it's normal so i'll come again press auto and it has another effect on that now let's uh, look i think the shadows are a bit too dark so i'll just open it up a bit for it's okay for me let's look at the white so this is a good thing in uh, capture 120 that they've separated the highlights from the whites the shadows from the blacks so you can manipulate the blacks independently and the shadows independently same thing with the whites and the highlights so you see, this deals with only blacks, not necessarily the shadows. So this, I would want it to remain where it is. And then we'll come here and then work on this. Now, saturation, I would want this a bit saturated. So I'll just add five. Basic, you might not notice. Now let's do a global reset by pressing and holding Alt on your keyboard and then pressing this um, reset sign over here. So once your finger remains on Alt and you press this, see, it temporarily resets it and then brings it back when you release it. So this is before and this is where we are now. So we are making some progress. Now the mid-tone seems a bit too um, dark for me. So I'll just bump it up a bit here to let's say four. Then I press the auto again. So the reason why I keep pressing auto is now I wouldn't want to be adjusting the highlights and the shadows um, by myself. That's why I just press auto and it seems to always work for me. So mostly I only work on the mid tones. Sometimes I have to you know, bring this back a bit or something just so we avoid uh, clipping over here. So in this case, since there is some clipping here, I'll just come here, bring it a bit till the curve up here it's very very smooth you should learn to use the histogram it's very very helpful so now this is where we are with our image let's zoom in and see everything is now i didn't give you the details of this image it was shot at iso 100 shutter speed 1 60th of a second f7.1 somebody asked why f7.1 now most of my studio sessions i use an f-stop higher than 6.3 because i love details now if you look on her skin see all the details are there that's how i like my images sometimes i shoot at f11 f10 f8 depending on what i want to achieve and this 
in this shoot i use the, the 85 mm for this so right here we are looking good now i would want to reduce the exposure just a bit somewhere here yeah that's looking quite good that's looking good so this is our image let's um, create an instance of it a new version and then let's um, give it both side by side before and after so if you look at the left that's uh, where we are now if you look on the right that's the image before all these adjustments were made so this is the image in its raw format and this is it so if you look on the left here the sliders this we have worked on this we haven't worked on so you see the difference we've been able to raw process it to you know make it stand in a way we want before we even send it to photoshop to work on it so once we have uh, what we need here we'll just move straight ahead and then export it to photoshop so we'll continue doing that in the next video